Hi there and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I am here to show you a really cool set of capabilities that we recently launched at Ignite that allows you to manage your infrastructure in a much simpler way. So one of the biggest things that we hear, people who, lots of VMs, they spin up, create VMs, they manage them and so on, and they're always dealing with change tracking, they're dealing with updates, and how are they going to deploy updates and manage which machines have been updated and which haven't. So I'm super excited to show you how you can now do this really, really easy right here in the Azure portal. And so let me, let's just go to, let's just go to the demo and we're gonna see, see what this looks like. So here, I'm running here in the Azure uh, experience and you see I've got here uh, Contoso Web One, which uh, of course is my important virtual machine. And right here on the left, down here under operations, you see a, a bunch of new capabilities all listed as preview. I'm going to go into update management. And so what this is going to show me here is the updates that have been deployed on top of this virtual machine. Um, it's going to show me any sort of missing updates that I maybe, uh, that I maybe uh, haven't yet deployed under this virtual machine and any scheduled updates still to come. Uh, and so the key thing with this is that uh, the great part, it's going to show me compliance, right? It's going to show me when I'm in compliance with my updates, with my patching, um, when I'm out of compliance, um, uh, and any sort of uh, maintenance that I get, then go need to go run. Um, and so that makes it really, really exciting and super easy to use. And so here you can see I've got uh, an update that I'm missing that I haven't deployed here for Windows Defender. Um, and so I can go in and make that deployment. Um, you can see I've got the set of updates that have already happened. So I've got a weekly security update that runs every single week. Um, and you can see many of them don't do anything. There's no updates to deploy, but some of them here, uh, this example here does actually, did actually do an update um, and, uh, and deployed that. And I can go in and take a look and see what was actually updated. So here you can see a beautiful little experience. I can see that this deployed um, uh, a cumulative update here for uh, for server 2016. Um, I also updated the malicious software removal tool. And so let me actually go back here into that update management. Now here's the cool thing. If I want to go schedule these updates, I can go in and hit schedule update deployments. And right here I can set the name of this. So let's say, you know, critical updates. Okay. And then I can pick of that classification, critical updates, security updates, roll-ups, feature packs, maybe I don't want to do service packs right now. You can see I can make all these uh, uh, selections right here in this portal experience. Unbelievable for these virtual machines. I can even exclude specific KBs that I don't want to go update. So all right here available in this portal experience. So easy to manage. But then you probably say, well, great, that's one, but I've got hundreds of VMs. Well, now I click on manage multiple containers, uh, excuse me, manage multiple virtual machines, and I'm going to get in here and see that I can manage across my entire environment. So this is not just for that one virtual machine, but now I can see the updates across my entire environment. Um, and any sort of uh, out of compliance instances, um, any sort of missing updates that I may have, um, uh, and, and any sort of schedule that I want to go do across this entire environment. And so here you can see I've got a set of machines that are not compliant, so I can go in and actually schedule those updates. Another thing to point out here, I OS type. I've got both Linux and Windows listed here, so I can go run these updates across both Windows and Linux. This is not a Windows-only feature. Um, and I can do Azure and non-Azure. You can see I have a VM here that is being managed with updates right here in the portal experience for non-Azure deployments. That's an on-prem virtual machine that I'm managing here for update maintenance. So super cool, uh, very, very easy. I can add VMs and non-Azure VMs right here with these very easy buttons up top. And of course, I can schedule those updates across my entire environment. So, so powerful and so easy to use to go get that update management working. But update management isn't the only thing that's cool here. I can also do change tracking. So here you can see I've got, for my Windows machine, I've got all the changes that have happened. So this includes Windows service changes. This includes files changes. If I've got registry updates that have happened, uh, events that maybe have happened on this virtual machine, I can see all of it here. I can even search down here for things. Uh, and so let's say I want to go search and I see if whether this, this specific KB that I, that I installed, uh, that I want to install was there. Looks like, yep, definition update for this. KB was added as part of a software update to this computer. And so I can see that very easily go search for that. But what's even cooler, again, manage multiple computers. So one click and now I move over and I can see change tracking across my entire 
environment. So this is not just a single virtual machine. This is across a set of virtual machines where now I can see all the changes in Windows and Linux. Again, so here you can see I've got Linux daemons here. I've got events for Windows files. I've got registry for Windows, software updates for either Windows services, obviously for Windows, right? And so if I go in here and I just say, hey, you know, let's see what, what sort of daemon changes I've got here. This will go in and search and show me exactly the changes that have happened on my machine and allow me to go dig in. I can even go up here in the little chart and decide exactly which changes I want to go take a look at and it will zoom in to those areas. So change management, update management, configuration management, and by the way, for your virtual machines running in Azure, Windows or Linux, all free. So get to town with this. Go set this up. Go use it. It will make your life easier. It will make running infrastructure a heck of a lot more fun. And so with that, if you have any questions, hashtag Azure TWC. Go ahead and ask. Share this with your friends. Let them know how cool you are because you can do this on Azure and enjoy this support for infrastructure. And with that, have a wonderful Tuesday and we'll see you next week. No, it's good. We it just came in.